it's been hard to keep it a secret. Uh-huh. I mean, I've been, I was like, actually, I didn't, like I said, I didn't even know that it was really going to happen. I was still kind of nervous, and I was like, yeah, this ain't really going to happen to her, but it has, and I'm, I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to see her reaction. That's Army Staff Sergeant Charles Warfell, an instructor at Fort Meade's Defense Information School. The her is his wife, Carrie. We'll show you that reaction to meeting these guys in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spam. Also this week, October is Disability Awareness Month. We'll have scenes from this week's volunteer speed meet, and Fire Prevention Week is upon us. These stories and more. But first, they've won Grammy Awards and sold millions of albums. Country music band Lady Antebellum is currently on a seven surprises for seven fans in seven days promotion. Thursday stop, Fort Meade. Uh, today, my wife is actually being surprised by Lady Antebellum. She was um, entered into the um, Lady Antebellum 747. Yeah, contest we'll and my sister-in-law put it all together for it and she won. As we promised earlier, here's Sergeant Warfield's wife Carrie's reaction. But we just want you to know how inspiring your story is and how you're just an incredible mom and an incredible friend and we have a couple of surprises for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we want to see, uh, we, we just met Charles earlier. Yes, we, we did. He's see, been uh, in on it. <laughs> He's totally been in on yeah, it. Yeah, he has. He'll, he'll explain it. <laughs> I think he'll explain it later. later. Yeah. <laughs> but we want to see if uh, if you and Charles want to come out to the 50th ACM Awards with us in Dallas. Uh, in Dallas. Yeah, yeah there it is. Uh, right. Right. Yeah, this year it's in Dallas. Yeah. Oh it's my God, what's awesome! Yeah, Thank so you. We'll have a little Thank party you. out there in Dallas. The Warfells were also presented with this all-terrain vehicle. In other news, October is National Disability Awareness Month. The Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office held its annual observance this week at Club Meade. Highlights included a performance by the Hugh Gregory Gallagher Motivational Sorry. Theater Group. So if Mr. Hawkins uh, shows up early for his interview, please send him right in. Yes, Timothy J. Hawkins. You've surprised me, you see. I understand, sir. I, I realize that you didn't employ anyone in a wheelchair when your custodian had to bring me up the freight elevator. Really? Passenger elevators are small, sir. They're not accessible to people with disabilities. Your men's room isn't wheelchair accessible either. Really hadn't thought about it. Exactly. Look here, Mr. Hawkins. I'm truly sorry you're crippled. Truly, I am. And, 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 and that you find our building less than accommodating. This year's special guest speaker, Juliet Rizzo, the Deputy Director of Special Projects at the U.S. Department of Education, talked about setting expectations. And I am thankful that all of you in this room today, do you set high expectations for people with disabilities? Do you? Yes. Will you? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Who are? Do you set high expectations for all of your soldiers returning? Yes. yes. Do you set high expectations for all of your soldiers returning with disabilities? Yes. yes. Absolutely. And that is why we're here today. Because we are all soldiers in this fight for abilities, are we not? We are all soldiers. And we are all fighting the great fight. For more information on Disability Awareness Month and workplace accommodations, contact the Fort Meade EEO office. Meanwhile, October 5th through the 11th is National Fire Prevention Week. The Fort Meade Fire Department will be making its usual trips to the schools and daycare centers, but instead of an open house this year, they're partnering with Anne Arundel County. On Saturday the 11th, from 10 to 3, they're going to be out at Sandy Point State Park. Um, we've got 32 different agencies that are going to be out there. We're going to be demonstrating water rescues helicopter rescues. Um, it's very similar to what we do on National Night Out, only this time the fire department's taken uh, center stage with the police supporting us. This year's theme emphasizes checking smoke alarms. Here's the latest from Sparky. Sparky the fire dog here with an important announcement. Smoke alarms can make the difference between life and death in a fire. In fact, nearly two-thirds of home fire deaths in the U.S. result from fires in properties without working smoke alarms. That's why this year's theme for Fire Prevention Week, October 5th through 11th, 2014 is... Working smoke alarms save lives. Test yours every month. We want everyone to know just how important it is to test smoke alarms each month and to make sure they're working properly. For more information about Fire Prevention Week and smoke alarms... And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.